I'm Audrey Lewis, Associate Curator at the Brandywine River Museum of Art. Today I'm going to talk about a painting by Barclay L. Hendricks entitled Boxing Day. It is an oil on canvas dated 2003 and is 18 and 3 quarters by 26 and a half inches wide and housed in a gilded frame. The painting and frame are in an oval shape known as a tondo, which is a term used in art to describe paintings, sculptures, and reliefs which are circular. Tondo canvases, panels, and sculptures became especially popular in 15th century Renaissance Italy. So it may seem a little bit unusual that a contemporary artist like Hendricks chose this shape. I believe one reason he may have done so is that the frame acts like a portal into the scene, as if you were looking at this landscape through the eyes of the artist. Barclay Hall Hendricks was a pioneering artist who was born in 1945 in Philadelphia. There he studied at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, later receiving his Bachelor and Master of Fine Arts degrees from Yale University. He would teach for many years at Connecticut College, uh, retiring in 2010, all the while having a remarkable career. He died in 2017. Hendricks is best known for his intense large-scale portraits depicting black men and women, including himself, beginning in the 1970s and capturing an important moment in American cultural history. And these life-size depictions of everyday people, often shown gazing at the viewer intently and dressed in colorful and stylish contemporary fashion, Hendricks went beyond mere representation to express powerful attitudes of racial pride and confidence. His work revolutionized portraiture and still resonates today, having influenced a generation of artists. Hendricks had numerous solo and group shows throughout his career. In 2008, a major retrospective of his work was organized by the National Museum of Art at Duke University in North Carolina. Titled Barclay L. Hendricks, Birth of the Cool, this seminal exhibition included his iconic figurative paintings, as well as his photographs, drawings, watercolors, and landscapes. Included among the landscapes were small, luminous ones like this placid, light-filled scene overlooking the Jamaican countryside. Beginning in the 1980s, Hendricks and his wife Susan traveled every winter to spend several months in a remote farming village on the southern coast of Jamaica. There the artist spent his days painting in the outdoors, reveling in unspoiled nature, and responding with his brush to the changing weather and its effects on light and color. Hendricks said, quote, I like the immediate gratification of plein air painting. With the figure, you have to plan the pose, the props, the clothing. In Jamaica, I can finish a painting a day, unquote. Painting outdoors was for Hendricks a relaxing, meditative, and cathartic practice, which one can sense in this bird's eye view of the land. It has a feeling of both calmness and spontaneity, with bright wildflowers and green and yellow grasses gently swaying in the foreground, set before rolling hills that open up to an expansive sky.